Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a basic cash flow annual forecast. Um, so to start off with, let's merge those cells together to create our title, cash flow forecast, and we'll do 2014 to 2015. And I've made it in bold and underlined. Merge sales again. Products to you. That's our business title. So putting a business title, your business name. Column A, we're going to make um, slightly bigger than the rest, about 13 to 14 there, as we're going to have to put some wording in that column. Let's do April hyphen 14, the beginning of the tax year and drag that across to get our whole year. Obviously you can do January, December or whatever your business year is. If we highlight all the cells and click the center button, just make everything look a bit more tidy. If I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video and go back. You know, you can watch this as many times as you like. So in line five, let's put in opening balance. You might need to make column A a bit bigger if you're struggling to fit this wording in or make the text smaller. <coughs> Excuse me. Next we're going to put money in, a couple of lines down and let's underline that because that's going to be a, a subheading for us. So all money into the business, we have owner's capital, so the money the owner has put into the business, we can put bank loan, sales, and then other any other money that will be coming into the business. And then we can put total money in. And this is going to be a total box. So let's format sales. Put a border in at the top. So just click border. Click the where you want the border and click OK. And your template should look like this. I've made that all bold. Let's make all the opening balances bold too. Make them stand out. <coughs> if we highlight all the cells, <coughs> excuse me, click format cells, <coughs> number, accounting. We can have the pound sign or the dollar sign to do decimal places. This way we'll have money cells rather than just digit cells. Let's put in another subheading. This time, let's do money out. First of all, we want to put in our liabilities um, and our assets. So things like our loan repayment, paying off that loan. It seems like a, a priority. And then an asset, goods for resale. So I'm selling products. So goods I need to buy to sell on. Then equipment asset. Then other overheads. We can put down the, down the bottom here. Advertising website costs and so forth. Obviously put as many expenses and assets and liability rows as you like to fit your business. I've uh, added merchant payments, postage and stationery. And then down the bottom here we want total money out. We'll make that all bold and put a border in. So once again format sales, border, Put that across the top, highlight the row and click the bold button. So your template should look like this. Let's put a formula in, equals sum, open bracket, add all the money in, close bracket, enter. So that will be our total money in. And we can drag that across so everything's added up together. <coughs> And let's do the same for money out. So equal sum, open bracket, all the money out totals, close bracket, enter. And if we drag that across, then we won't have to do that formula for each month. Now let's put in closing balance. Make that bold. And we can put in another border here. So equals <clears throat> our opening balance plus our total money in 
minus our total money out. So opening balance plus our money in minus our money out, then just drag that across. So do it for each month. So our opening balance for our first month, this is a new business, it's going to be zero. For every other month, it's going to be the closing balance of the month before, obviously. And then drag that across. So let's start filling these cells in now. It's best to do row by row, you know, do the whole year for each row instead of doing month by month. So the owner's put £500 in and he's going to put £30 in, let's say, for the first six months. So one, two, three, four, five, six. First six months of the business. This is a new business, so that's his plan. Bank loan. I'm getting a thousand pound bank loan. Let's just make these columns a bit bigger. Struggling for space. You'll soon realise why I'm doing this row by row throughout the whole year instead of month by month. So sales. We should have a sales forecast. Um, I'm not going to go into this in this video. Um, we should have a sales forecast. So say by month three, we're hoping to sell one unit, which is 20. And then we're going to go up to two units, then three units, so 60, four units, 80. And then five units a month for our last two months. That's our sales forecast. And I can do another video at another time on how to, to do a sales forecast. <clears throat> and you'll see these totals are working, all our total money in. It's working well. Loan repayments. We won't have any loan repayments the first month. But say we have a fixed payment. You'll get the schedule from the bank when you take the loan out. And say our fixed amount is £38 a month. And there we go. That's that done. Goods for resale. So this is what our loan's for. Let's put £800 in there, we'll buy an £800 of stock. And we're going to buy some equipment too, worth £450. Now, it's really good to explain what's going on, where this money's going to. So if you right click and click insert comment, you can then add a comment. So this £800 is say 100 units at £8, including postage. Obviously these figures are not figures we've plucked out of the air. They're spe they should be specific figures and there's reasoning behind them. And we can put that reasoning by inserting comments, putting notes on. So right click, insert comment. So that £450 of equipment is a laptop and printer. And you'll see when we hover over the cells those comments appear and will remind us and you can edit comments just by right clicking and click edit comment you can adjust the size and the, the text obviously if you're going to show this to some sort of manager you're going to want reasoning behind the values you've, values you've got so advertising is £8 a month Say so it's Google AdWords, I'll put a comment in. We have a fixed fee of £8 a month we're going to put into advertising. Our website, we might have like a, a six monthly fee with our website hosters or designers, £35 say, every six months. Like so. And once again, another comment could just write, give some more details about this. So I've just put the, our website, designers, company name. So merchant fees, this will be in line with our sales. So say it's 50p per sale, per £20. So those two months are obviously going to have 50p. And that's going to go up as we're selling two units and then three units, so one pound fifty. Four units, two pounds, with five units, which is two pound fifty. Postage once again, 
this will be variable depending on the units we're selling so it's one pound fifty per unit so one pound fifty then we're selling two units and then three units so four pound fifty four units six pound and five units which is seven pound fifty and then stationary fifteen pounds we can put a comment of what that is like printer paper pens pencils you know whatever you need to buy what that money is allocated to once again if I'm going too quick just pause and take this slow so all our comments are in you'll see that the spreadsheet's working well we're getting total money outs and closing balances down at the bottom let's put in interest <clears throat> our loan interest as we've taken a loan you should get a schedule from your bank about loan interest and depending on what loan you've got it will probably go down as your loans being repaid so it's going down by 10 pence each month so now that's in so everything's looking good you know we have positive amounts for our closing balances and our opening balances throughout the year so it suggests we have sufficient cash to get through our first year of business if everything goes to, to plan but say we need to buy some more equipment um, you know let's give an example that the cash flow is not going to be that great so 200 pounds you'll see some minus figures now appearing down the bottom of the spreadsheet and at the top for our opening and closing balances insert a comment so say we have to buy some sort of scanner and photocopier some piece of equipment that could damage our cash flow okay so you'll see all these minus figures show a negative cash flow so from doing our cash flow floor cost, we know we're not going to have enough cash. Um, so it might be that we have to put more into advertising to increase sales. And if we can have higher sales throughout the year, our cash flow will be okay. But it could be as simple as we need to set up an overdraft facility so we can survive throughout this first year of trading. So I've put overdraft interest in and that's going to be five pounds a month every time we're in a minus balance like so like an overdraft fee okay so we've started off with nothing we've ended the year with plus 18 pounds 60 obviously a cash flow forecast isn't a profit and loss statement but it's helping you to know that you're going to have sufficient cash over the next period of trading this being a year but you could have as many much <clears throat> period as you like just to ensure you have enough cash to get through that period i'm just hiding right click hiding hiding all those cells just so that opening balance total money in and total money out and closing balance is now showing you know it might just be a bit handy to to break things down if you just wanted to have the the fundamental figures showing but thank you for watching if this is too complicated and you'd like to, us to do this for you just go over to our website www.bpfs-online.com and we can do it for a small fee we also offer online safe training probably the cheapest online 45 pounds let's unhide these now but please in contact if you need some help with this, we'll be happy to, to give you a hand.